start our phase one of a return to protocol, and we'll have a certain number, a certain number of our uh, football players that will be back, going through all the different uh, uh, protocols that our, our athletic training staff, that the NCAA, uh, has put in place for this first phase, uh, and then hoping that if the first phase goes well, that's typically a, a 14 days. It's like a quarantine, it's 14 days, might be a little bit more. Hoping that it goes well, then we get to phase two, where we can bring another set of players in. Uh, and start phase two, and then with the goal, hopefully everything go well there for the next you know couple weeks. That we can get to phase three, and then phase three is when you can actually start having uh, some typical uh, normal summer uh, functionings. These first two phases are all voluntary; nobody has to show up. It's a it's a voluntary deal. No coaches will be around. Strength coaches are there to observe only uh, and not instruct uh, to make sure that these uh, procedures that we have in place you know are going to work and, and minimize the risk of, of uh, anybody, any student athlete, and anybody that's surrounded with our team of getting the uh, virus. So the NCAA rules did not allow us to discuss workouts or we're, we weren't allowed to know what our players were doing. Yes, we, we could provide them information, um, but uh, now some of our guys would post certain things. You could see what they're doing online uh, from some of those things, but we weren't able to, it's not, we weren't able, hey, what'd you do today? Send me a video. We were not able to do that. Uh, but I do feel strongly that uh, you know our culture is strong, that our guys would do a good job with what they've been doing. Our strength coaches have done a, a fantastic job of, of, pro of providing what they need on a daily basis through Twitter, through emails, whatever it may be. And, uh, and, and I'm confident the majority of guys do what they need to do. There's going to be some, there always is, there's going to be some that is going to say, uh, you know, I couldn't do this, couldn't do that. And, uh, obviously, whenever they get back, we'll sort of see who that is. But uh, I, I, feel, I feel confident guys have been, have been working. I think if you, if you listen to the NCAA and, and everything they've done, I, I think there's a confidence that uh, it can uh, and will start on time. I think that's all up to, honestly, it's all up to how uh, these phases go, you know, making sure that everybody's following through on that because, uh, you know, if you have a setback, then the way this works, if we have a setback from phase two, we got to go back to phase one and start over. And so uh, I think if guys handle their business, do what they need to do, yes, I believe we'll start on time. Now what that looks like as far as fans and all that, I don't know. Uh, but I do know September 5th, if everything goes well, we'll be running out of the tunnel whatever time they tell the kickoff is.